Hey, hey, welcome back to the Conversion Clinic. In this video, we're gonna go through my top three ways on how to write amazing Google Ads copy, how to increase your click-through rates, and ultimately, at the very end, get more conversions. So let's get right into it. I wanna show you how I go through the three steps on writing amazing copy for ads. So we're looking at an existing search ad right now, and the first step is to go through a persona. So a persona is basically some pain points, objections, desires, any internal emotional dialogue that someone's having about a product or a service, right? The motions they go through before they want to buy something or what the pains are. Step two in this process is actually to inject keywords dynamically so that you don't have to put it on every single headline on the ad. It does it automatically. I'll show you how. The third step is to go through dynamic location insertion, which inserts the person's IP address location. So the city they live in or the town they're searching from and injects that into the ad automatically so that you increase the click through rates. Okay. So the whole purpose of this is to show you how to be more relatable to the person on the other side that is typing that keyword into Google and you want them to become a customer. This is what you do. Okay, so let's get through the first step. The first step is to understand who is searching for this service. So what is the service in a nutshell? Let's have a look. So go through the landing page. What is it? So it's improving overall skin quality and stimulation collagen through laser. I'm guessing it's for people with sun exposure and I'm sure that they're looking for dramatic rejuvenation in the skin to targeted areas or target levels. It says, but I'm guessing you it's for spots on your face and things like that. Okay. It takes five or seven days of downtime. Uh, CO2 laser seems to be a keyword, all this kind of stuff. Okay. I do recommend spending a little bit more time now before this video, I've got to admit, I've already been to this page before. So I just want to go through that rehearsal with you to give you an idea on what you need to do. Next step from here is to create a persona. So I'm going to give you this script and I've just said it's for people looking for laser skin resurfacing treatment. Let's click that in. Okay. I didn't spell treatment, right? That's okay. Okay. So next step is to open up another chat GPT as well while that's loading. And what we want to do is go to this one here. I will send you this script in the in, in, after the video, wherever I want to put it. But first up, I'm just going to copy this bit and leave out the last bit. And then I'm going to go back over to here, paste that in. Okay, so that's good. And now while we've got that persona, okay, while we've got that persona, and you can see I've already put these in because I've rehearsed this already a little bit. So we're going to go through network error. Why is it doing that? So let's pause the video and I'm going to wait till that goes through. Okay, it's just about finished. So what I'm going to do is copy some of the output that's given. So from the pain points all the way down to the internal dialogue or buyer motivations. I'm going to go to this ChatGPT script at the bottom, paste it in. Let's put this in here. Okay, so I've already done the script. So I've done this many, many times, hundreds of times. So I just want to give you the shortcut so that you can write really amazing ads. Okay, so what we've got here is it's pumping out some headlines that add numbers psychology. It adds both intangible and tangible benefits into your headline based on the service or product that you're offering. Okay, so what we want to do now, now that we've got this, is we might want to pump it through maybe one more time just so that we've got variation. We can skip back and forth between them. Let's go over to the skin resurfacing. Let's look for some quick wins. Quick wins, display path. Add the keyword automatically to the display path in the URL here. That way that someone sees it, they might subconsciously see it and want to click on you even more. So backup keyword as a default text, we might say laser treatment. I spelled it right at the time. Good. Okay. So apply. Now let's scroll down. Um, laser skin resurfacing, improved skin and quality texture. This isn't sexy enough. It's not making me want to click on it. Okay. So what you want to do, and they've got no headline pinning here and they've got no dynamic keyword insertion or location session. Amazing. Quick win. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to tip number two, which is inject dynamic keyword insertion. So what we're going to do is left face symbol here. We're going to add the keyword insertion. And then what are we going to say? What's the fallback kind of word like, and the fallback here, what you see is just in case one of these words goes over the 30 character limit here, then it needs a fallback word just in case. So what we're going to do is add that fallback word. What will it be? So we can go back to the ad itself if we really wanted to, where is it just here? Network error, why am I getting those? So what we're going to do is have a look at, uh, might regenerate that, might go back to the headline here. And just for the sake of this video to make it fast, go title case, number one, laser skin resurfacing. Let's just do that, right? Just for now. Okay. 
doesn't have to be perfect. Um, okay, so what that's, that's gonna do, since I've pinned it as number one, is it's going to automatically add to the first pinning here. So if I've typed in skin resurfacing, it's gonna show me the skin resurfacing headline here. So it's gonna basically try to reflect whatever I type into Google, it's gonna try to show me the closest headline that relates to that based on the keyword. That's what it's trying to do. So increases the click-through rate. And that's what we want as an advertiser for people to click on our ads. And so that's a quick win there. Number two, quick win. And I've written this down earlier. It's probably not on my notepad anymore. Yes, it is. Okay, so top rated clinic in location. So you'll find that I've already done this homework, but basically you can inject the location based, and this is number three, tip three on, in the video, to inject the person's IP address location into the ad so that they wanna click on it more. So for example, available in, like if I'm living in a particular suburb in Brisbane or New York, you know, I see that on the ad available in blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay, they do it in where I live. That's close by, okay. You know, so you can inject that into the actual keyword. So available in or available near, we might say, so that it's not like misleading in any way. So the way to do that again, left face icon, location insertion, you click on whatever you want here. So we might do city, um, the default text, you might do whatever the closest city is, like I would say Brisbane, and that's what I've done in this one here, right? So if we can't get their suburb to fit in the actual content here, if the, their suburb's like a very long name with three words in it, and it won't fit in this actual headline because it's a 30 character limit, then it's gonna default to Brisbane in this case, right? Okay, so now that we're clear on that, I might do it as a pinning two so that it displays in the second position, always. So top rated clinic near Soest. And so the rest of it, we can play the field based on psychology, okay? So what I mean by that is we can basically go through the rest of these, leave one alone, that's fine. We might wanna split test number two and three as we're going, so we might want to swap and chop and change the number two position um, to something more around psychology. So the way we do that is we go through here and we might go seven day fast recovery. That might be like a psychological benefit to this service. We might add it as a three. One treatment, multiple fixes. We might do nine out of 10 recommend us. For happy faces renewed. So we might go here and I've already done the research. They've done, got a, at least, uh, oh, they've, they've had a lot of clients. So we might just stick to 500, that's fine for now, because it is actually true, they've had thousands and thousands of clients. They actually have, it's given me an idea, 150, uh, 45 star reviews. So they actually have had that. So I might wanna chop and change there and add that as a number two here. Okay, so what you wanna do now is sift through the variations to see what the actual ad looks like. That's part of the game is to understand, okay, what does it look like? Does it have numbers? Is there too many numbers? Is there enough power words? Is there sexy language in there? Is something that I would wanna click on? And that's really the name, name of the game is to make sure that you're writing it for yourself. Would you wanna click on that thing? And that's really what it's all about. So you wanna to relate to the audience, but you also want to have as many areas as possible so address sun damage, fast, amazing, so that's good. Okay, get rid of that brand name. We don't care about brand names. Let's just go in here. Unless the brand was super reputable, like a household name, what's the point of having the brand name in there? Just put some sexy language in there instead. And don't worry about this ad strength. I don't even care about it. If it's poor, that's fine. As long as the headlines are clickable, that's all I care about. Invest in lasting beauty. So that's an intangible benefit. Fade lines and wrinkles. Restore your skin's glow. So that's nice, that's a nice one. That's touchy feely, that's good. Okay, so let's keep going down until we've filled all the headlines and then we sift through them. So we might wanna go zero pain, <laughs> full gain, shit. Um, uh, natural looking results, so that's, that's probably good. That's probably a pain point people have and we can confirm that if we go back through here. So it's natural looking results. So we might do that as a three. Um, avoid costly creams. So that might be a good one. Hey, you don't even know that that's a particular pain point that or, or thing that people do. They naturally go to creams and stuff for this. Safe and proven results. Now you might wanna stay clear of safe because it might flag Google's algorithm to be like, oh, why do you got safe in here? You know, it might be a procedure that we've got to flag. So you want to stay away from Google's violations as much as possible. Erase acne scars easy. I hope I don't get flagged for this one. Fingers crossed we don't, but hey, 
you know, it happens. Okay, so feel confident, sans make, no, what am I doing? Minimal downtime promise. We could take some here, discover a younger you, like I love that. Okay, so I might do that one, discover a younger you, just capitalize it. Discover a younger you. Okay, so um, join 500 clients, blah, blah, blah. So that's good, good. CO2 magic for your skin. You know, that's that's probably like a number three. Or we could say, what else do we want to say? Raise age in seven days, probably gonna get flagged with Google with that one. Mm, your skin, but better. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> your skin, but better. Uh, instant self-esteem lift, Jesus, okay. I mean, I'm not sure if we want to have sun damage no more. Well, you're gonna get sun damage, that's not true. Okay, let's go to the third one, because I really like that. And this is why ChatGPT, it's so good to go through the variations. Visible improvements, probably gonna be too long, but I thought visible improvements one session, but it's gonna be too long. Reduce acne scars, so that's probably an easy one. We already covered something like that about acne scars. Um, so we're just coming up with variations of that. And obviously check your similar headlines together. You don't want to have number two as reduce acne scars and number three is easy uh, erase acne scars because then someone's seeing that they see a double up of headlines on here and it doesn't look good. Okay, so just double check everything that you've got similar headlines that are being split tested against each other so that people aren't, you know, thinking that you put like no work into the ad. Okay. So we might go, okay, so invest in lasting beauty. I don't think I did that, did I? No, we didn't. Okay, so we might do that one. And one treatment, multiple fixes. Let's just do that. I'm being lazy right now, but you get the idea. I just want to speed up this video for you guys. Make sure that we go through, okay? And then these ones here, try laser skin resurfacing, blah, blah, blah. Now you can inject the keyword into the descriptions as well. You don't have to, it's sometimes recommended. I haven't seen any evidence that it dramatically improves your, uh, what do you call it, your quality scores. So I'm just gonna do this, for example, join 500 clients in confident makeup free life, book your consultation. So that's probably a two, cause it's saying book your consultation. This one's probably a one. Right, so do use your pinning on these ones as well, so that you're, uh, I've already got plenty of videos on that. Um, skeptical about results, before and now, speeds, volumes, fear, pain, say goodbye to endless creams. Okay, so that could be okay for a number. Okay, an affordable luxury for your skin, high quality treatments that won't break the bank. I'm not sure if, like if it's a quality clinic, you don't really wanna pay attention to affordability or cheap or anything like that. You don't wanna draw attention to that kind of stuff. It's unwanted attention. Worried about downtime, seamless recovery. So let's just do that for now. Let's do that as one and this as two. So we've got two of each, okay? And then we might wanna add more images, the business names in there. We might wanna add the business logo. But basically in a nutshell, these are the three ways you can improve your ads and the three ways that I use it time and time again, what I'm showing you in this video, to dramatically increase your CTRs. Because you're resonating with the audience, your ads stand out in a better way than everyone else, using numbers psychology, using a more intangible benefits in there. That's my magic secret to, you know, increasing the CTRs across hundreds of accounts that I've worked with. So if you've got any questions around that, let me know. I'm happy to help in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.